this is this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I just want to get out this report because uh, I'm getting lots coming in and I don't really normally have the energy to uh, cope with it. So I just want to use this little window of opportunity when I've got a bit more energy just to put a brief report at the start of the melt season. Uh, yeah, what interests me, I mean, I've been doing this for for years now and uh, you know the uh, the media has always been in sort of denial and, and now you're getting kind of dire headlines uh, coming out um, but still as soon as you do anything specific as soon as I start measuring the temperatures uh, outside to show that they're much higher than they ever have been in the past. At the moment we're just sort of sitting in a sunless sky, this this weather pattern um, uh, just stays kind of where it is and temperatures are much much higher than what they should. We hardly ever see the sun and then we get a you know a weather system comes through and everyone says oh it's a cold winter well no it's not and then similarly with the arctic i've been pointing this out with margo for th three years and um so as soon as you get specific uh yeah people will make all sorts of generalizations and so as soon as you start getting specific then they'll start denying it so i'm just going to follow uh, the facts. Uh, I suspect that the uh, cure is going to be uh, almost as bad as the disease. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to just start with some of the uh, the latest news headlines. So this is from the Deutsche Welle from a few days ago. The Polish Dan team warns Arctic may be past tipping point. Well, do you remember when they uh, reached the, the North Pole with ease last year and they just uh, they took um, uh, selfies of themselves at the North Pole? Well, now they're saying a research team that set sail for the Arctic has warned that the tipping point for irresistible reversible global warming uh, may have already been triggered. Well, what's new? I've been talking about this for, for years. Let's just see what they have to say here. You know, I made three simple so, changes to my diet that drastically reduced my arthritis pain. Number one. It's a bleak picture of the Arctic and the world's climate system. Snow and ice cover some parts of the North Pole all year round. The Polar Stern research ship and its team of scientists spent a year frozen here, drifting with the ice flow. The early findings from their research show that the Arctic ice is thinning and that in spring 2020, the sea ice retreated faster than ever before. In autumn, the ice refroze later than usual. The fear is that the summer sea ice in the Arctic could soon disappear completely. Scientists say this is a warning the world can't ignore. That shows uh, how dramatic the changes in the Arctic are and that we are about to lose, to completely lose the summer Arctic sea ice. And that is one of the important, important tipping points in Earth's uh, climate system. The team compared their findings with 130 years worth of records about the ice. The scientists say the Earth is close to the point of irreversible climate change, but there is still time. We need to act uh, quickly now. We need to reduce our emissions of greenhouse gases uh, drastically, and we need to do that during the next decade. Uh, by the mid of the century, at the latest, uh, we need to be climate neutral. Months after this happy homecoming in Germany last year, the results are now out. Scientists hope the world will take action on climate change before it's too late. 
So there we are here. So the scientists who led the international mosaic expedition to the North Pole on Tuesday warned that the point could have been reached at which irreversible global warming is triggered. Well, who's been talking about this for, you know, for years and giving specific data that shows that we're already there. We have been for some time and now they've suddenly discovered this. Um, so anyway, so I'll just give another few headlines. This is the uh, the Arctic as it's looking uh, today, uh, well, actually yesterday, uh, and we can see what's going on. So first of all, well, what we've got to do is just to focus more or less around the edges. So you can see here in the Bering Strait and the Beaufort uh, areas of Blue Sea are coming about, you can see along the Siberian coastline, you can see uh, in Northern Siberia, I think this is Komsomolev's Island, uh, 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 where all the uh, methane is going up. I'm just not quite sure of my geography. So, and you can see coming further around, um, it's all opening up. Um, Norway Zimla is got, still got a little bit of ice around it. Uh, but look at this. This is Svalbard. All of this is open. Um, and uh, yeah, right around here, right around here, uh, northeastern. Uh, Greenland, um, but just see how it's already that's uh, at about, I don't know, 83 degrees north and it's already uh, breaking up. So, yeah. So, and you can see here, that's looking through some cloud, it's all breaking up, all breaking up this area here. So that's where things are at. 